Hey, welcome everybody. Tony Porter, Cards and Dice TV. It's APA Baseball 1979. This game was played June 9th, 1979, and you can find this on YouTube. It's going to be Tommy John, the left-hander uh, for the Yankees against Larry Gura, the ex-Yankee, and now left-hander for the Kansas City Royals. John will be a BZ, and these are basically the two grades that uh, establish the rating for the pitcher, the main rating. And then, of course, Larry Gura will be a CZ, and that will establish Gura. So on paper, John has the advantage, but it doesn't always turn out that way. So let's get the game started. Now, this is a, a game I chose. I was on the fence about choosing this game, but then I kind of decided against it. And then all of a sudden, I thought about it a little bit more because when I uh, am on the fence about playing a game or not playing a game, uh, I look into it a little bit more and find if there's something about it that attracts my interest. And really this game, I was, I was remember that in 1979, we lost Thurman Munson, but that didn't happen until August. So Thurman Munson is in the lineup. He's batting third for the New York Yankees. Probably one of the iconic, you know, figure and a uh, great, great player throughout the 70s, hard-nosed player known as the Walrus. And uh, he would definitely was missed at that period and uh, it took the heart. Was, I don't think he was ever the same without Thurman Munson. So anyway, uh, let's start off with Mickey Rivers in center field. Now he gets traded at the end of 1979 to the Rangers. So I had to go into the Rangers uh, set to pull out uh, Willie Randolph at second base, batting second, the catcher, Thurman Munson, at, uh, at in, the, in the third spot in the third hole. Cleanup is Lou Pinella. He is uh, in right field. In the fifth spot is Greg Nettles. He, he has a star, he's a star rated fielder. Randolph is a star rated fielder. That tells me that these guys are, are in fielding column one as individuals. Um, then there's a guy named, I think his name is D. Jones, Daryl Jones, and he is a guy that had a cup of coffee with the Yankees in 79, but he's in this lineup today. I had to print out his car from Steve's card maker, which I drop him a 20 spot every so often when I go in there and use his, his, uh, his app, and he's been improving it lately as well. So if you need that one-off card just for one game that you're gonna play, you know, uh, you don't wanna make a huge investment for that. You can write it up yourself or you can go there and kind of uh, do that. Chris Chambliss batting seventh. He's at first base. Uh, also on the left, I have in parentheses if he's slow or if he's fast. Um, then it's Roy White who has an extra. He comes in as an extra card in this 79 set. This Apple Classic 1979 set. As you notice, all my games, most of my games are using the classic sets. And then it's Bucky Dent batting ninth. Now here I have my shaker. This is a must have. This is a must have for um, rolling apple for top of the first inning. Larry Gura against nice. Rivers Randolph. There they are. It's a 62, so we're going to read it off off Rivers. And I know the 26 is a ground ball. Bounce to the second baseman. And that is UL Washington picks it up and throws out Rivers by half a step. Rivers can fly down the line. His nickname is Mick the Quick. Here is Willie Randolph. Uh, 64, and that's going to be a base on balls. So Willie Randolph was known for having a very good eye. He's a speedy runner, so he'll take the extra base. Here's uh, Thurman Munson, and we're going to try a hit shortstop. In this case, the shortstop is an 8, Patek. So it's hit to Patek. It's going to be an out of first, and runner advances. So Munson gets Randolph over to second. Now we have a runner in scoring position. And it's a 21, which is popped up shallow left field. Racing in is Wilson, and he gets there. We're in the there. bottom of the first inning. It's going to be Wilson against Tommy John. Let's roll. That's a 25, and that's lined for a base hit. Willie Wilson is a switch hitter. It's a ball hard up the middle, and played on a hop by the center fielder Rivers. Wilson is always a threat to steal, so Tommy John's going to throw over a couple of times to keep him close, but there he goes, a throw from Munson to slide the tag, and he is safe. Stolen base for Willie Wilson. Apple has an automatic stolen base system, so when you roll an 11, you know that he's going to be running. 
Next up is UL Washington, the second baseman. That's a 25. So, so B pitcher and eight is going to be a ground ball comeback right to John. Moving to third is Wilson, and out at first is Washington. So runner on third now. Yanks are going to bring the infield in for Amos Otis. And I didn't go over the lineups for the Kansas City Royals. In case you're a Kansas City fan, you probably want to hear those. And if you don't know them very well, maybe you want to learn them a little bit or see if you can recognize the names. Willie Wilson leading off. You all Washington batting second, the uh, second baseman. Um, the center fielder, Amos Otis. In the third hole, batting eighth. Cleanup is George Brett at first base, not at third base, at first base today. Um, Al Cowens in right field, batting fifth. Batting sixth is Darrell Porter, the DH. Batting seventh is Wathen. He is at catcher, batting, uh, uh, I'm sorry, eight, uh, seventh is Wathen. Batting eighth is Freddie Patek, the shortstop. And then batting ninth, the third baseman, an extra player set from the extra player set. Uh, is I think Todd Cruz. All right, so one out, one on, Amos Otis. Here's a pitch from Tommy John, and that is a 26, which is strike three, and he strikes out Otis. He swings and misses at a pitch that's outside of the zone. And here's George Brett. Now, George Brett, 1979, has a good season, but not the same season that he has in 1980 when he bats 390. All right, and that's a 65. That's going to be popped up. With a runner at second base, that is a pop-up to the left side. And that's going to be the third baseman. Nettles under it and puts it away. No runs. One hit. No score at the end of one complete. Yeah, we're in the top of the third inning, and it's 1-0 Kansas City. It was a leadoff homer in the bottom of the second by Al Cowens off of Tommy John. And here in the top of the third, the Yankees came right back with a walk. Uh, to Denver, it was a fielder's choice that put Rivers on first base, and then Randolph lined the single to left center field, and Rivers made it to third. So here comes Thurman Munson with runners on first and third, one nothing Kansas City, but the Yankees are threatening. All right, so we're going to play uh, the infield halfway, willing to give up a run here uh, if we have to. Um, you know what? We'll bring we'll play the corners in, but we'll bring the. Um, the middle halfway to look for a double play. Here's a pitch. That's a 45, so that's a 14 with runners on first and third. Uh, he's a Z, remember that. First and third, a 14. Nope, he needs to be a ZZ, so otherwise it's going to be a base on balls, and that's going to load the bases. So Larry Gore has lost command a little bit here. Um, and he's walked a couple, and this loads the bases for the Yankees and brings up Sweet Lou Pinella. Bases loaded, one out, Sweet Lou Pinella. The infield is, again, halfway up the middle and in at the corners. Top of the third, one nothing Kansas City, but the Yanks have Lagura on the ropes right here. And that's a 22, and that's going to be a 7, which usually is a dangerous result. So he hits it hard. And that's going to be against the C. That's going to be a line base hit, left center field. And one run scores, two run score. Yanks are up two to one. A two run single by Sweet Lou Pinella. So Sweet Lou Pinella comes up big. And Muntz is going to go to third on this. So again, we got runners on first and third, and the Yankees have scored a couple. They lead it two to one here in the top of the third inning, and up comes Greg Nettles. All right, here goes. And oh, that's a snake eye. So that's going to be a drive to right center field, and that's going to be off the wall. One run scores, and they're waving. It looks like they're waving Munson or no, Pinella. They're waving Pinella around, and he, no, they're going to hold him up. They hold him up at third base. He is uh, slow, so they're going to hold him up. And Nettles, an RBI double. And the Yankees now lead 3-1 to one with runners on second and third. Here comes Daryl Jones. Daryl Jones uh, basically was with the Yanks for a short time in 1979. He, I had to make his card using the uh, Steve's card maker. All right, so here's Daryl Jones. He's from Medville, PA. And uh, he's a designated hitter. Runners on second and third. The infield's going to be in here. 
and it's a 54 that's a fly out to right field but remember Al Cowens is a star rated outfielder he's a three so with second and third let's see if we can find that he's going to be a one fielding column one and that is going to read fly out runners hold so they're not going to challenge Al Cowens arm and that's going to be two outs And uh, here comes Chris Chambliss. He hit that big home run in the 1976 uh, National League, American League Championship Series versus Mark Littell of the Kansas City Royals. And that's going to be a 63. That's line, but right at the center fielder who's out there, Amos Otis. And he gloves it and that retires the side. So the Yanks pick up three big runs here in the top of the third inning on one, two, three. Three hits and two walks. They lead it three to one. We go to the bottom of the third. It's going to be the top of the order Wilson, Washington, and Otis versus Tommy John. Here's the pitch. And that's a 36, and that's going to be popped up. Who's going to get that? And that's going to be the second baseman calling for it. Randolph, he's there, puts it away. One down. Next up is UL Washington. He grabbed that comebacker to the pitcher, and here he swings and misses at a ball in the dirt. So he strikes out, two outs, and here's Amos Otis with a 13, and that's going to be ball four. So a two-out walk allowed by John. That's the second walk of the game that John allows. And here's George Brett. And that is a hard-hit ground ball right at the second baseman. Randolph flips to the shortstop. So it's going to be a 4-6 fielder's choice, and that ends the inning. No runs, no hits, the walk, and we move to the top of the fourth. All right, in the top of the fourth, we're going to have Roy White leading it off. He struck out. Now, he has a, an extra. He comes in as an extra player card. He's not part of the regular set because I guess he didn't have a lot of... Uh, he swings at one and pops it up. Shallow center, back goes Denton Randolph, and in comes center fielder, um, um, I'm sorry, back goes Patek and Washington, and in comes Otis, and Otis makes the catch. So it's an F8, one down. Bucky Dent now. And he grounds one out to the third baseman. That is Todd. Cruz picks it up and throws out Dent, two out. And here's Mickey Rivers. Rivers today is 0 for 2 with a run scored, and it's a 46. And he drives one into the gap. After it is the left fielder, Wilson, and Wilson runs it down to retire the side. No runs, no hits. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Al Cowens leading it off. Al Cowens is... Um, homered in his uh, bat in the second inning to lead off the inning. Here he pops it up. It's going to be the catcher. One down. Munson grabs it near the stance. Here's Daryl Porter. Daryl Porter walked. And he walks again. Second walk for Porter. That's a third walk allowed by Tommy John. Next up is Duke Wathen. And that is a fly ball. Backing up is Rivers, and he makes the catch in center field. Two down. Freddy Patek. 34 and another fly ball. Rivers over, makes the catch. That retires the side. No runs, no hits. The walk, one left. We go to top of the fifth. Willie Randolph, Thurman Munson, Lou Pinella. It's a 3-1 to one score here at Kansas City. It's Randolph, Munson, and Pinella. And that is a base on balls. That is the one, two, three, fourth walk allowed by Larry Gura. Here's Munson. And Munson with a 38. I believe that's going to, Randolph's going to be running on that. And there he goes. The throw down, not in time. So Randolph with a stolen base. And a 43 is a 29 with a runner on second. And that is going to be a 
the ball bounced to the first baseman who flips to the pitcher covering and that's gonna allow Randolph to move to third. So it's a three to one. So Munson bounces out to the catcher, tries to go the opposite way to move the runner over and does. Here's Lou Pinello with a runner on third. So the Royals here in the top of the fifth inning are gonna bring the infield in. Here's the pitch to Pinello. That's gonna be eight, that's lined. And will that drop in? That's the question with a runner on third. Yes, it does. Yanks take a four to one lead. Blue Pinnell RBI single drives in Randolph. And that is a, I, I put, I make a little circle for the RBIs. He, he drove in number two in the batting order. So Pinnell with an RBI single, he's two for three on the day. Boy, he can hit. Here's Greg Nettles. And that's a 46, that's a fly ball right field. Backing up is Cowan's on the track and he makes the catch. Daryl Jones is next, he's 0 for 2 today. 65, that pops it up. Daryl Jones pops it up. That's behind the plate. Porter throws his mask away, makes the catch. And that retires the side, but the Yanks pick up a run on a walk and a hit. They lead it by a score of four to one going into the bottom of the fifth inning. I only use the classic card sets. I do not use any new card sets. I just don't like that. Uh, a lot of guys always ask me. Every so often I get a, uh, you know, a trunk full of cards from somebody and, and, and I sell some and they always ask me, do you have any card, the newer cards with the, the, the uh, master symbols on them? And I'm like, no, I don't, I don't collect those. I don't ask for those. All right, so here's Todd Cruz leading off. He grounded out to second base, and here he flies one out to... No, he bounces. Bounces. Oh, no, that's not it. Hold on a second. I'm not looking at the right chart. It doesn't really matter. It's an out. It's a ground ball to the shortstop. Dent up with it. Fires the first in time. One away. Here's Willie Wilson. Wilson singled and then popped up. And here he's going to bounce out. This is to the third baseman, Nettles. And he better hurry. Throw to first. And, oh, just gets Wilson by half a step. Boy, he can fly down that line. Here's UL Washington with two outs in the bottom of the fifth. And that's going to be line for a base hit. And Wilson always a threat to steal. So John, again, is going to throw over a couple of times. Here's the pitch to Otis. It's high. There goes Washington. Throw down from Munson. He is safe with a stolen base. So Washington steals second base. He's on his second with two outs. And here's the pitch again to Otis. 25 and a 10. And a 10 under a B is going to be a bounce out to the third baseman. Nettles, Nettles over to first and in time. No runs. One hit, one left. And we go to the top of the sixth inning. Got a good game going here. Four to one Yankees, 1979. You can watch this game on YouTube. All right, Chris Chambers is uh, leading it off against Larry Gura. And that's gonna be a 46, which is a fly out to right. Over his Cowens under it, squeezes it for the out, one down. Here's uh, Roy White, Roy White's over two. He struck out and flied out, and here he flies out again. This is in the left center field gap, and running it down is Amos Otis, who's a heck of a center fielder. Got a good jump on that ball. And here's Bucky Dent, who walked in and grounded out the third. And here he's going to bounce out again to the third baseman, Cruz. Cruz over to first in time. Three up, three down. One, two, three inning for Gura. And we go to the bottom of the sixth inning with Brett leading it off. He's 0 for 2 today. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be a drive down the line into the right field corner. Bounces off the base of the wall. And digging for second is Brett. The throw is not in time, so it's an easy stand-up double for George Brett. To lead off the inning, here's Al Cowens. And Al Cowens a 40 with a runner on second. Oh, let's see. A 40 is going to be a safe on fielder's choice. The ground out to it, it's hit hard right at Chambliss. Chambliss is going to go to third. The tag by Nettles, and he is out. Whoa, that was surprising. It's a three to six. And at third base, it looks like Brett and, and Nettles have some words. It's a fielder's choice. They get the runner at third base, down by three. You shouldn't be getting thrown out at third base with nobody out. All right, so Brett being aggressive does not pay off. Here's a runner on first, one out, Daryl Porter, 51-9. and nine. And that is going to be a 
little bouncer in the hole and it stopped by dent, but no, no throw to first and that's gonna be a hit. An infield single by Porter. Then, then stopped the ball from going into the outfield. We just did not have an opportunity to throw it. Here's John Watham, Duke Watham. Plays all kinds of positions, a versatile player, first base catcher, outfield. Uh, here he is with runners on first and second with one out. Pitch from John, that's a 23, a 28. And first and second and a 28, that's going to be, let's see, we rolled a three. So we're going to use fielding column three at 28. That's going to be one play, safe at first, runner out at second. So it's going to be a 6-4 fielder's choice, two-way. Going to third is Cowens. Here's Freddie Patek. And that's a 13. That's ball four. That loads the bases. I believe that's the fourth walk allowed by John. One, two, three. Fourth walk allowed by John, and here comes Todd Cruz, a big at-bat for Todd Cruz in the bottom of the sixth inning in a game where the Royals uh, are, are behind by three runs, four to one. Here goes, and that's a 23, and that's going to be bounced to the shortstop. Ten steps on second, and that retires the side. So no runs on a couple of hits. And the big play was uh, that Brett got thrown out of third base by Chambliss. And the, the um, left one, two, three, they left the bases loaded. So we go to the top of the seventh now. It's gonna be Mickey Rivers leading it off. Mick the Quick. Four to one Yanks. Here's a pitch, it's a 65, that's popped up. Behind the plate, foul ground, and that is Watson makes the catch, one down. Willie Randolph is next with the snake eyes that we're going to have to roll again and look at the second column, and that's going to be a drive in the gap that's going to split the outfield and roll to the wall. Around second, going into, around first, going into second is Randolph, and the throw is not in time. So it's a one-out double, and here comes Thurman Munson. That's a 51 and 8. It's going to be a line drive, base hit. And they're going to wave Randolph home, and he is safe. So an RBI single for Munson. And here comes the manager. I think that's it for Gura here in the top of the seventh. So an RBI single for Munson, and it makes the score five to one. So just like that, the Yanks score a quick run. We'll be right back. All right. Uh, manager, I think it's Whitey Herzog, wasn't it? Whitey Herzog who went to the bullpen and called on Rennie Martin, the right-hander, to, to face Lou Pinella, sweet Lou Pinella, righty on righty. So we're going to make a little notation that there's a new pitcher coming in, do a little squiggly line, and write him in here. So Remy, Rennie Martin, who actually uh, pitched in this game, he's a C with an X and a Y, so he has good strikeout potential. He's going to come in to face Lou Pinella. So here's the pitch. And that is a 22. So that's going to be a 7. Oh boy. What is that going to mean here? Let's find out. All right, with a runner on. on uh... All right, so the Yanks picked up a couple more runs in the top of the seventh. It was a double by Randolph, an RBI single by Munson. Then Rennie Martin came in to pitch. It's a single by Penelope, runners on first and third, and then Nettles came up and lined the single to right field. And that was runners on first and second, a comebacker to the pitcher, put runners on second and third with two outs, and then Chambliss grounded out to short. So here's Willie Wilson starting off the bottom of the seventh. And that is a fly ball, center field. Mickey Rivers makes the catch, one down. He's old for, one for four, by the way. Here's Washington, UL Washington with a pop-up. Behind the plate, foul ground. Munson throws his mask away, makes the catch. Two down. And here is Amos Otis. Amos, uh, Amos Otis is 0 for 2 today. Strikeout and a ground out. He's a fly ball in the gap in right. 
chasing it is a right fielder Pinella. And Pinella makes the catch to retire the side three up, three down. Go to the top of the eighth. All right, we are in the top of the ninth inning. It was crazy bottom of the eighth. The Yanks had to uh, change pitchers a couple of times because John got driven from the game when he gave up a hit and uh, uh, a hit to the leadoff batter Brett, and then a double, an RBI double to Cowens. And then uh, they brought in um, Jim Cott, the left-hander, to face the lefty Daryl Porter, who walked Wathen, the next batter, reached out an error that loaded the bases. And then it was a strikeout to Patek, a pop-up to Cruz. But then it was Willie Wilson who drove a double down the line. And that cleared the bases. And it made the score 8-5. to five. It was a walk to UL Washington. But uh, Kenny Clay came in and then walked UL Washington. And then with the runners in first and second, the tying run, Amos Otis struck out. Score is eight to five right now, and we're in the top of the ninth. It's going to be Jones, Chambliss, and White. And the new pitcher for the Kansas City Royals is the mad Hungarian Al Rabowski. Left-hander will face uh, Jones, the lefty, uh, 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 a righty, Chambliss, a lefty, and then White, a switch hitter. All right, so here goes. He's uh, going to be a C pitcher and then a Y. So if we see a Y, it's going to be a strikeout. So here's a pitch to not Nettles. Nettles is not up. Jones is up. Daryl Jones. Here's a pitch. And it's a 43. 29 with nobody on base. Is a comebacker to Rabowski. Feels his position and throws out Jones. One down. Here is Chris Chambers. And that's a 24 on Chambliss' car. That's a fly ball, right field. Towards the line is Cowens, and Cowens makes the catch. Fair territory, right by the line. And here's Roy White, who Roy White picked up a single today in the eighth inning. Here's the pitch, and that's a 26. That's a fly ball into left, and that retires the side. Three up, three down for Rabowski in the ninth. We go to bottom of the ninth inning. It's going to be George Brett leading it off. Brett Cowens and Porter. The Royals are down by three. The actual score of this game was eight, nine to eight. I believe the Yankees won it. You got to double check that. But it was a high scoring game. 17 runs they scored. Here's a pitch to Brett. That's going to be lined for a base hit. And the Yankees are going to go to the bullpen again. And who are they going to call on? They're going to call Ray Burris. Actually, no, they're going to call on Ron Davis. So Ron Davis is going to come in here. And Davis is a BYZ. And you can see him, his card right there, Ron Davis. You don't use the bat, the pitcher cards other than the grade, so you don't have to keep them around. It's not like other games. It's not like Stratomatic where you actually read off the card. So uh, here is Al Cowens with a uh, tying run on deck and Daryl Porter. Here's a pitch. And that is a 25. An 8 is going to be run around first is going to be a pop-up in the infield. Second baseman Randolph is there. One away. So Davis promptly gets Cowens to pop up. A dangerous hitter who was Two for four on the day with a home run and a double. Here comes Daryl Porter, who's walked three times in a single. So he's one for one. He's got good power, but that's a 24. That's strike three, and he, Davis gets him. Davis is a YZ, so he will get credit for that, for that Y if it comes up. Here's Duke Wathen. And I did want to check and see if I can bring a pinch hitter here. Who are the guys here? Are they using as pinch hitters? Let me just check. I think I have Jamie Quirk, who can be used as a pinch hitter. And Pete LeCock, Steve Braun, so we're going to bring in those guys to pinch hit. Let me see if I can. So we are going to bring in uh, Steve Braun to pinch hit for Duke Watt. Bottom nine. There he is. All right, here's a pitch with two out, one on. 
And that's a... Oh, wait a second, let's re-roll that. That wasn't fair. Oh, it's a snake, guys. And we're going to look at a double column. This is a drive. And this is going to be cut off nicely. Brett's going to go to third. And Braun's going to be held for a, to a pinch hit single here in the bottom of the ninth. That's going to bring up the tying run. Freddie Patek, they're going to let Freddie Patek bat and bring in a pinch hitter for Cruz. So here goes, two outs, two on. Tying run is at the plate. And Freddie Patek, who has really no power, but uh, just based on our whole situation here, we could let, bring Lecoq in, but we don't want to do that because we'd rather let Freddie Patek bring Lecoq. Lecoq is the first baseman. I don't know if I have Quirk. Let me take another quick peek at the... The roster. So a great finish to the game. This is the bottom of the ninth, and it's first and third with two outs. Ron Davis is going to pitch to the pinch hitter Pete Lecoq, who is the tying run at the plate. And we roll, and it's a 32. It's a bounce out to second base. That's the ball game. The Yankees win 8-5. to five. Yanks pick up uh, eight runs on 11 hits and one error. The Royals, they lose this game. They score five runs, 11 hits, and, uh, and one error. The win goes to Tommy John. The loss is going to go to Larry Gura. And that's the ballgame. This is Zappa Basic using the alternative charts. Take care.